Hello everyone, my name is Bethan and today we're going to make some artwork inspired by the exhibition by Shutaba Biswas. Now when Shutaba was a little girl she made a long voyage across the sea to the UK and that story, that voyage has inspired lots of her artwork and she tells stories of migration and travel and identity. So we're going to look at two of her artworks today, one called Lumen which means unit of light and that tells stories of migration and movement and colonisation. And we're also going to look at Time Flies. So Time Flies is a series of paintings of birds from around the world. And we're using that as inspiration to make our own shadow puppets. And we're going to look at birds that migrate around the world to make our own shadow puppets. To make that, we'll need some card I'm using thick black card, but if you don't have anything like that, you can use a cereal packet. You need something with a bit of strength to it. You'll need some scissors, a pencil, some coloured bits of paper, that's for decorating, for making a really snazzy shadow puppet, some Pritt stick, and then to hold your puppet, the sort of handle, you'll need a stick or a straw. So these are some paper straws, or you can use a stick, you can even use a pencil if you don't, just something to hold it to help move and make it fly. So I'll set us off and I'll show you what we're going to do. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw your bird. And you might want to think about what bird you want to draw. So I'm going to do a swallow, which is this bird and this bird. And swallows are amazing little birds that fly from the UK all the way to Africa every single year. So they come here to nest and raise their young and at the end of summer they fly all the way back. And I've chosen them for because of their story, but also because they've got things like they've got long forked tails and they've got this little splodge of red and that makes them really stand out. Some other birds that I made, I made the lapwing. Now the lapwing you'll find often lives by the sea, but again it migrates upriver to nest in long grass and it has this amazing sort of white patches on its body and it sort of flaps and flutters in the air so it's quite a fantastic bird to spot. So you might want to have a little think about what bird you want to make. You can make one up of course or you might want to look out the window and see if you can spot any birds. We also have a template which you, if you look in the comments, you'll be able to uh, print out if you're sort of not feeling too confident to draw your own bird. But first of all, you'll draw the bird. So I'm going to make some nice big wings. And I'm going to do a big forked tail for my swallow. And nice pointed feathered wings. And then I'm going to cut that out. So now I've cut that out, you'll see that I've got a really nice bold bird shape and that's why using the black card is really nice because you've got some, a really good base to start with. Now I'm going to think about what patterns I might want to put on it. So my swallow has a little red hat kind of of its feathers and it has a little red breast and then I'm going to make some really nice white patterns on here. So at this point you can kind of use your imagination and add any colours that you want. But I'm going to quite stick to realistically making my swallow. So now that you've cut out your big bold bird shape, you want to think about the decoration of it. Now for these ones you'll see, I haven't actually put any decoration on but what I have done is I've cut holes in them. These are all holes here. And what that means is that when you have your light for your shadow puppet, you have a far more interesting shadow appears because all these holes are lit up. Now the way that you do that, so you might think about where you want to put some holes. I want to put some in the wings here. So I'm going to use scissors for the first bit. And the way that I do that is I'll fold it in half, sort of on itself, like this. And then I'll take my scissors and along that fold that I've just made, I'm just going to nick some sort of long feathery type shapes out. I'll do a few along the length of the wing on both sides. And you can do as many of these as you like. 
It looks really great if you have lots of holes in, I think. So I've got these kinds of holes appearing there. Also, if you've got an adult who's confident in showing you how to use a craft knife, that's how I make a lot of my work with this knife here. So you would use a cutting board and you can cut some lines in, but of course only use one of those if you're with an adult who's confident to show you how to use one. So you can see I've now got lots of nice holes appearing in my bird. I used a knife then for these little bits, but you can use scissors, they're just as good. So you get some really gorgeous sort of holes in your shadow puppet. And now I'm going to decorate it. You might want to decorate both sides, like this one. This sort of eagle has got, so depending on which way you flip it, you can always see it's gorgeous orange colours. And I'm going to make lots and lots of wing feathers to go along here. Now what I can do is if I get a piece of paper, I'm going to fold it a few times on itself. So that's sort of folded about four times. And then I'm just going to cut into that. And because I've folded it in half, you'll see, I get lots and lots and lots of feathers appearing so I can start decorating them. So I'm going to add some white and some red and some lots of feathers on my swallow. So now you'll see that I've finished my bird. I've got its bright red cheeky bit. I've got these gorgeous holes for feathers. I've got some nice bold white bits and I've also added a bit of blue because a, a swallow is a sort of blacky blue colour. And now I need to think lastly where I'm going to put my straw. Now this you might need to play around with, sometimes you might want to have it coming from its tail, but it depends how you want it to move. I often like them coming along the wing, but you might want to think about where you want to position, how you want to hold it when you play with it. But I'm going to just use a bit of glue. You can also thread it through if you've got a stick. You might want to put a sort of hole in and then another hole and thread the stick in. That will make it nice and secure, but for this one, because it's a paper straw, it should glue on easily enough like this. And then I'm just going to hold it nice and hard. And in a minute, we're going to have a proper play with it and you'll see just how effective it looks when it flies. So now that you've had some inspiration on how to make your shadow puppet, I thought I'd just give you a few little tips for when it comes to playing with it and then I'll show you how this one works. Now you might want to use a torch. If you don't have a torch you can use the light on a mobile phone or even on sunny days you can see if you can use the sudden light to help light up your shadow puppet. And something to play with, if you've got a torch, it depending on where you put the shadow puppet depends on how big the shadow can be. So if you bring your shadow puppet close, close, close to the torch, you'll have a huge bird flying around. And if you move it away, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And that's a really nice way to kind of make your story come alive of your travelling, migrating bird. So I'll put this down and then I'll show you with the lights out just how fab our bird shadow puppets can look. Thank you for joining me. Here's our puppet, and then with our light, 